A Texas oil tycoon is suing Beto O'Rourke. Billionaire Kelsey Warren is seeking a million dollars in damages from the Democratic nominee for Texas governor. That's the same amount of money Warren donated to Governor Abbott's campaign. Here to talk about this is Travis County Democratic Party Chair Katie Naranjo and former Texas GOP Chairman James Dickey. Katie, Warren claims Beto defamed and slandered him in ads about the governor's response to the winter storm of 2021. Beto claims the lawsuit is frivolous. Is this defamation or deflection? Yeah, I, I think we would love to ask the 700 Texans who died in that winter storm, but we can't because they're dead. And people have to be held to account, including our governor, uh, including the electric grid, as well as the oil and gas industry who shut off units Wednesday before the storm hit on Sunday. As a healthcare worker, I can tell you that my staff and I were in the field on Sunday still seeing patients before the storm. And there are a lot of questions that were never asked in a hearing that never happened during the legislature that Jane. needs to be held to account. Okay, James, you know, let's talk about this case. Does Kelsey Warren have a case against Beto O'Rourke? He does. And that's the thing. It's about time that politicians uh, and everybody be reminded that it's one thing to have a battle of ideas. It's, compl it's another thing to have politicians duking it out saying, you know, you're a great, you're a terrible guy. No, you're a terrible guy. But he literally accused a private citizen of illegal acts and did so publicly. That is defamation. And unless he's got proof, they'll be able to find him, find against him in a lawsuit, as they should. Politicians need to remi be reminded. They may get away with exaggerations, but when you lie about criminal activity and accuse an innocent person of it, you will be held to account. You know, Katie, did Abbott let power companies off easy after that winter storm? Absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a running joke uh, around the Capitol and around Austin that uh, nothing essentially was done tangibly to prevent, um, not even just with ERCOT, but also with the oil and gas industry, um, a prevent another winter storm to the point where Abbott even said that this latest you know, possible winter storm, he was not sure if the grid would stay on. And James, to your point, Politicians and elected officials have to be held accountable. And the million dollar contribution made days after the special session where nothing was done to regulate oil industry and recompense for those 700 Texas lives lost, Abbott has to be held accountable for that. And that donation from Mr. Warren. James, feel free to yeah. respond. <laughs> Yeah, so so just days after regular session, and so let me get that right, that would make it 16 months after the winter storm. So uh, if you'd waited two years, if it'd been uh, the month after, it, it's just ridiculous framing. The two have nothing to do with each other, which is why Beto claiming bribery and corruption is defamation and that's why he's going to be found as such and as for yes there were tragedies but there also have been things steps taken to improve things and that's completely separate from whether beto can get away with lying again fortunately the voters are going to take him they're going to hold him to task and he's going to lose this thing in double digits plus and hopefully we'll have all seen the last of beto or work okay well we, we've got the election which is public opinion and then we've got the lawsuit which is a court of law, and we will see, we will all see where it finally goes. We're out of time for now. Katie, James, thank you both very much. Thank you.